I want to pivot a little bit. Yeah. I know you do some work with an organization when we band together. I'm wondering if you tell us a little bit more about that. Oh yeah, I love them. Oh, so when we band together, my friends made it actually um, a famous oh, wrestler, cool. his son and his wife. They started it. Um, it's a nonprofit organization and they provide uh, safe places for displaced people. Okay. Um, it started in 2015 when the Syrian, with the Syrian refugee crisis in Greece. And, um, you know, that just started with they bought a bunch of tents and they were buying food and shelter and things. And then they, um, you know, decided that they wanted to build a center for the people to get all, get out of the, the, the camps and to be mm -hmm. able to have like resources, you know, music lessons, in, um, English lessons, guitar uh, sports classes, wellness classes, yoga, all, pretty much whatever the refugees asked for, they would try and yeah. provide um, classes for that. And then they, the center, they turned it into a hospital during COVID, and then they turned it back into um, a center again now for women and children. And now it's about 90% um, refugees from Afghanistan. And so I went in 2017, and then I just went back this summer after the Olympics and spent a couple days there with the, with the women and children. And it was just amazing. And it was so eye-opening. These children will share their stories with you and it's heartbreaking and then they're mm -hmm. just at the same time they're so they're so resilient and they're yeah. just it's they're, they're beautiful um you know so you just you you want them to have you know basic human rights and just also the right to life you know yeah absolutely yeah. anything do you have any information on how we can get involved if any listener wants to learn more or take action any yeah. calls to action yeah now? yeah i do yeah so if you go to um wwbt.org so when we band together.org okay. uh you can donate there and then just okay. uh kind of a side note right now we're actually looking to um expand the building but they're just so intentional about everything that they do like that organization they are able to run and provide services um with like a quarter of the cost that other nonprofits use so and it, it's like other organizations and nonprofits are actually like copying this model because it's so effective and they also um and they're really trying to employ uh the women and the children the children there you know they they have people volunteer and they have it's very like interactive and it's really they're trying to help these people to raise up to to have like autonomy um over their over their lives and over the center so they're just it's incredible um but yeah so you can donate at wwbt.org and um just honestly spreading spreading this or sharing any other social that always helps too yeah. so and even just listening like really thank you for for asking about that and bringing that up because just any type of awareness is, is very helpful yeah no I was so glad and it's something that stuck out to me just from your Instagram which I love you're so fun on Instagram by the way but I, I noticed that from your page and I was like I can't wait to just learn a little bit more because you can tell that you're so passionate about it so I'm excited to hear it from your own words and just like you said just to spread it because it's a wonderful thing yeah. that the more eyeballs we have on those pages, the better. So yeah, throw us yeah. to that. Oh, great. <laughs>